Well, good afternoon. This new law really does two things. It creates stiffer penalties for those involved in organized retail theft, and it also makes it a little easier to prosecute ringleaders. Illinois is enacting one of the most comprehensive crime curbing efforts in the nation. We need this now because this type of crime has increased in the last few years with the use of social media to organize and to recruit and to plan and then resell this stolen merchandise. State officials saying this morning at Water Tower Place, organized retail theft is a multi-billion dollar a year industry nationwide and deprives local governments millions in tax revenue. Smash and grab thefts have been a real issue, not only in Chicago, where several high-end stores were in some cases repeatedly targeted, but also in suburban malls and shops. It's a dangerous trend for store employees and customers alike. This law defines organized retail theft and makes it a felony. It also allows prosecutors to bypass some jurisdictional issues, such as the theft occurring in one county while the goods are sold in another. This law, which had bipartisan support, although many Republicans wanted it to be stronger, will also require online marketplaces to gather information on people selling large amounts of items. We've told online marketplaces, we've invited them into the kitchen uh, to cook up the recipe to, to fight this organized retail crime activity. But if they don't come into the kitchen in good faith, they're going to be on the menu. The state attorney general, whose task force on organized retail theft, along with the Illinois Retail Merchants Association, helped craft this bill with lawmakers to give law enforcement and prosecutors more tools to go after ringleaders of organized theft. This is not aimed at a low-income parent desperate to feed their child. It's not about a kid making a short-sighted mistake. This is about a multi-billion dollar industry of organized criminals carrying out sophisticated theft operations to turn a profit on the resale market. This is about the safety of our communities. It's about preventing militarized storefronts and empty commercial corridors. Now, the governor in recent weeks has really been trying to highlight a lot of these uh, bills that have to do with crime into law as Republicans are trying to paint him as well as his administration and other Democrats as being soft on crime. We're live along the Mag Mile on Merrick Run, WGN News.